This is Avatars Radio News on the Hour. Give us five minutes and we'll give you the metaverse. This is News on the Hour for Wednesday, March 1st, 2023. I'm Alain Dragonfire reporting. From Software has officially announced that an expansion for Elden Ring is currently in development. The expansion, Shadows of the Erd Tree, was announced via the game's official Twitter account just after its first anniversary on Tuesday. The announcement did not provide any details about the expansion's content, but did offer an image to tease new adventures in the game's lands between. Elden Ring has already sold 20 million copies since its release in February of 2022, according to Bandai Namco. The expansion is expected to be available on all platforms where the original game is currently available, including PC, Xbox One, and Xbox Series XS, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5. Over the weekend, a Reddit user going by the username Latin Zero posted an image of what they estimated to be six pallets of huge sealed cardboard boxes of Magic the Gathering cards that had been dumped at their local landfill. The cards were worth a conservative estimate of $100,000, but could easily have been worth more than $250,000, depending on their contents. The cards had been through what happens to everything at a landfill within 24 hours, run through by bulldozers, buried in trash, and run over a few more times for good measure. Latin Zero later updated their story with answers to the common questions people were asking. There was speculation about where or why this small fortune in retail product had been trashed, but it was likely that it was a product that a shipping company had held because they were unpaid and eventually disposed of. Last Man Gaming has announced that its forklift simulator game, Forklift Extreme, will be released on PC on March 16, 2023. This marks the first time the game will be available on a platform other than the Switch and mobile. The PC release will be called Forklift Extreme Deluxe Edition and will include all of the game's DLCs. Forklift Extreme is a physics-based forklift simulator game promising, quote, ultra-realistic physics, end quote, to bring the experience to life. Players can move furniture and giant pumpkins, among other objects, in an immersive experience featuring lifelike driver physics. Reviews of the game's Switch version have been mixed, but critics agree that the game delivers exactly what it promises. Last Man Gaming's one-person development team has expressed a passion for physics, simulation games, and hopes that Forklift Extreme Deluxe Edition will entice players on PC to try their hand at moving objects with a forklift. The latest Sony State of Play event showcased the final three characters joining the launch roster of Capcom's upcoming fighting game, Street Fighter VI. Among them is Zangief, the Russian wrestler and veteran of the series. Zangief first appeared in Street Fighter II in 1991 and is shown for his powerful grappling moves and famous spinning pile driver. In Street Fighter VI, Zangief looks better than ever thanks to the game's RE engine and has new moves such as a wall-bouncing standing dropkick and Goldberg's jackhammer finisher. While Zangief's role in the game is unknown, he has historically fought on the side of good and has formed alliances with other fighters such as E. Honda. Street Fighter VI is set to launch on PlayStation, PC, and Xbox on June 2, 2023. EA has laid off more than 200 contract QA testers in its Baton Rouge office, the majority of its Apex Legends QA team, during an unscheduled Zoom call. The contracting agency Magnet Global informed the testers that they were losing their jobs during a mandatory Zoom meeting at 8 a.m. Central Time Tuesday. According to sources, EA's whole Baton Rouge QA team has been disbanded, essentially affecting the entire Apex Legends QA staff. EA did not comment on the layoffs directly, but confirmed changes at its Baton Rouge office in a statement to Kotaku. Workers impacted by the layoffs will receive 60 days of severance pay. 
The news comes after EA canceled the development of Apex Legends Mobile and Battlefield Mobile, which led to the closure of industrial toys. Ubisoft Montpellier, a French video game developer and studio of Ubisoft based in castelnau le lay France, and founded in 1994 as UB Pictures, is the studio responsible for developing the long-delayed game Beyond Good and Evil 2, has lost its managing director amid an investigation by local authorities into its labor policies. Reports indicate that an unprecedented number of developers have taken sick leave or experienced burnout, prompting an investigation by the Inspection du Travail. The health and wellness of the studio's employees is an ongoing priority, according to a Ubisoft spokesperson. The departure of the managing director and a number of development leads has raised concerns about the future of the project, which has already been delayed for over a decade. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is now considered one of the most prominent examples of long-delayed public game projects stuck in what workers in the industry call, quote, development hell, end quote. Luminous Productions, the developer behind Forspoken, will be absorbed back into Square Enix to continue developing AAA games, the company announced. The change will go into effect on May 1st, and Luminous Productions' team will join Square Enix to develop new gaming experiences to players globally. However, the studio will remain entirely focused on Forspoken until the merger, including the previously announced patch and DLC. The merger is part of Square Enix's effort to enhance its ability to develop HD games by combining Luminous Productions' AAA title development capabilities with technical expertise in game engine development. Luminous Productions was formed from Square Enix's developers who worked on Final Fantasy XV and Forspoken is the only game the studio has released to mixed critical reception. That is all the news on the hour on Avatars Radio for this hour. Tune in every top of the hour for the latest news about our home worlds, meaning worlds where we broadcast from, as well as breaking news from around the metaverse. Visit our website, avatarsradio.rocks, for our programming schedule and more. Thank you for tuning in to Avatars Radio, independent community radio of the avatars. To read the full articles of today's report, visit us on Discord at www.avatarsradio.rocks on the web. <laughs>